So at 5, if you have driven on Indianapolis streets, you know certain roads are long overdue for resurfacing. You can celebrate today because it has finally started. Derek Thomas reports the Department of Public Works is digging into the construction schedule. Barbara and John Jennings have lived here at 4328 DeVille Drive for 39 years. Right across the street is Millersville Road. It's being resurfaced today. The paving process comes with heavy equipment and inconvenience and some noise. But because Millersville Road has been a pothole minefield, it is the sweetest sound John Jennings has heard in a long time. Stop jumping up and down <laughs> because I've been excited about it getting done. I've been so rough and, you know, trying to ride my bike on it. It's just like you know, trying to ride on a rock road. So I'm glad they're doing it. Yeah. They are fixing roads all over the city, including this heavily traveled stretch of Allisonville Road from 86 to 96. $24 million worth of resurfacing is on the spring agenda. When we uh, prioritize resurfacing needs, we look at uh, the, the condition of the pavement. Uh, we look at the amount of traffic that uses the segment of a roadway each, each day. Um, we look at input from the public. How many, uh, what's the volume of requests for concerns like potholes? and road damage that we see into the Mayor's Action Center. Back on Millersville Road, Barbara Jennings had become accustomed to driving on the pothole littered road. I know how to drive on that kind of road, you know, like slow. You don't go fast over a check hole, you bust your tire. I had that happen to me once, one time, but uh, not recently. I learned my lesson. Soon that lesson can fade away and her husband can resume riding his Honda motor trike without fear. Resurfacing has arrived and the ride will be smooth once again. Derek Thomas, RTV6. A lot of happy people. There could be additional resurfacing projects added this season if the City County Council approves the issuance of another $35 million bond.